Hi, Lorraine Menza here, and in this video blog, I'm going to talk about It's Complicated, Keeping It Simple. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was a teenager, or I was a lot younger in my life, I was a drama queen. Everything that happened, every thought, every word, um, every action, there was something dramatic about it, and I made my life more comical complicated. So as I think about it as we get older, I think we all want to lessen the complications in our life. We want, instead of being it's complicated, we want it, uh, a life of keeping it simple. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of other people out there that just keep thinking, th you know, making things more complicated than they need to be. Now many of us have goals and things that we want to accomplish, and this is really where, in the area where I'm talking about, is we tend to make things a mess. And instead of just simplifying it, we tend to make it messier than it is. So whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, I've got some tips for you. First off, you're going to need patience. Yeah, you ever hear that saying that nothing of value um, or <laughs> anything that's worth it will take time? Something like that. I remember my parents always saying something to that effect, anything that's worth it will take time. So whatever it is you want to accomplish, keep that in mind and that will, you know, that will keep your patience. The other tip that I want to give you is break things down. Break it into simple, simple steps. Now you're not going to accomplish whatever your goal or your task all at once. You want to break it down to simple steps. That way you become less frustrated. It doesn't become it's complicated, it becomes it's doable. So I'm going to give you something that I did recently. My closet was a mess. I mean, it was a mess. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and I'm looking at it. So I decided I don't want, you know, I don't want to get in a frenzy over this. So I decided to break it down to very simple uh, tasks. On Monday, I got all my whites together, my white tops. Um, I put all those together. On Tuesday, I went for my black tops. See where this is going? Throughout the week, I color-coded things. I ended up just putting my pants together because I don't have a lot of, all of those. So I did that. The next week, I decided, okay, today I'm going to look at my white tops, and I'm going to get the rid of the ones that I that really don't service me anymore, that I'm not using. I use very little, so I did that. Next day, I did it in a different color, and so on and so forth. So I ended up... You know, I had a big pile that I could give away to charity, and um, I did it in two weeks. And I felt real proud because it wasn't like, oh my gosh, here's something I've got to do. But you can do that with every test that you have. You may not have a two-week test. It may be a lot longer than that. But the point is, number one, you need patience. Number two, you've got to break it down into simple steps, whatever that may be. Um, so you want to take the words, it's complicated, and making it in, it's doable. Keeping it simple. <laughs> Have yourself a great day. Take care.